the Tristan Thompson Draymond squabble that that's no good and then it just it, it extends things and it, and it obscures us for the moment from the, the the things that matter here LeBron James was positively brilliant <laughs> 51 points but Tim Legla let me start with you yeah block charge that's a block I said it when it happened I said uh -huh. it on a replay I was so grateful for the rule that you can reverse a play that important on that type of call I was actually surprised when they went to the replay center and Steve Javi backed them and I said, it's a block. I don't get it. And then they came out and they reversed the call. To me, it's a block. He's not only sliding, he's not even squared up. His, his shoulders are turning. You could talk about a legitimate defending position if you want to, but he is sliding in to take away that last bit of gap right. that Kevin Durant had. To me, since the dawn of time, that has been a block. Mm -hmm. Guys sliding and moving, particularly their upper body at the last second, and shoulders not completely squared up to the player. So I thought it was at the time. I thought, hey, you know, they, they got the benefit of the doubt on the call. Then they went over, they looked at it, reversed it. It's a major call in the game, obviously, but I think they ultimately got it right. All right, plenty more to get to, and we will get to Steve Kerr right now live at the podium as Golden State in overtime wins game one by 10. <laughs> or not. <laughs> the rest of the or not. If we don't have Kerr, then you and I, I can keep tell talking. you what he's going to say. If you want, we can go, <laughs> go ahead. do that. Steve Kerr. No, I don't need you to play the role of Kerr. Uh, when I can ask you not to tell me what J.R. Smith was thinking because you could never you could never know. But when a situation like that happens, I, I don't know what you do as a teammate. Yeah, I, basically the same reaction that LeBron had. The problem I had was after it happened. First of all, I mean, it's, it's, I, I'm saying in a moment, watching on TV, I'm not there on the court next to a guy that just did that. Yeah. But they walk to the bench. Like they lost. Blank stare on their face. They're not speaking to each other. Anybody in that huddle, they're just kind of looking there, and you kind of feel like Golden State's about to hit them with a haymaker when this ball goes up in the air for the last five minutes, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I mean, you, you fight so hard to absorb these body blows and avoid the avalanche, and then that happens, and... Yeah, I mean, the look says so, it all. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm not going to defend it, but here's what I think happened with J.R. Smith. He's standing there. The first one goes in. In his mind, sure. he's playing scenarios, and he's kind of thinking, like, we're going to be up one here. Right. And now, okay, he's yep. already thinking and assuming this ball's going in. Right. And then, boom, he finds it in his hands, but he didn't process what just happened. We're tied right now, yeah. and I need to turn and shoot this or get it to LeBron for a top of the key three to maybe win it.